Well, I figured it was about time I maybe took a little video of my reef tank that I've been working on for about eight months now. Um, it's fishless at this time. All the fish that I have that are going in there are in quarantine. But I have start a lot, uh, started collecting corals, oh, maybe for four months now. The tank was up and running for probably four months before I started adding. Just making every, making sure everything was uh, cycled properly. Had a real challenge designing this peninsula tank that is uh, four foot by two foot, and that you have to allow room on the sides for access and cleaning. And this is what I've come up with for now. I'm not going to get into what kind of corals are in here at this point. For anybody that knows anything about the hobby, they would probably figure it out for themselves. Um, this is more what I've designed equipment-wise. So I'm running a Apex full version, one MP40 at this time. Um, I'm adding a second one soon. Um, that MP40 is what? That's the controller. That's the pump. Yeah, and I won't get into that. Um, two uh, 250 watt metal halides, 440 BHO, and this is the design I came up with. That is the refugium next door. Um, refugium is exactly what it says it is. It's a place for refuge. Grow plankton, copepods. Um, also, macroalgae that I have in there that basically are cleansing the water. Have some pulsing xenia. They also are kind of a nitrate sink. Um, this is going to be one of the last things I really work on. I'll get some more fancier macros in there. Um, my auto top off is that, I believe that's a 29 gallon. I evaporate about three gallons a day and uh, so it's a 120 peninsula tank. Let's see if this will make the camera go buggy. Yeah, probably. Um, like I said, two, two, two 250 watt metal halides. I've got a couple of cooling fans going on. 40 gallon sump with a reef octopus, 200 excess skimmer, a 36 watt UV is the black tube sticking up in the middle. And then a uh, dual carbon reactor, uh, Milwaukee uh, WMD30, RLXT, uh, numerous float switches and uh, probes that are all hooked up to the apex unit. And uh, as you can see, these are my return lines that go into the main tank and then down there is the supply line for the refugium. Those two pipes are the return line which get dumped directly, I don't know if you can see it there, directly in front of the intake for the return. So the theory is pods will get sucked up over the overflow and have a chance to get into the display and feed the display before they're ever skimmed out. And everything that dumps down through that box comes out here. I don't normally run a filter sock. I did some cleaning yesterday. So I'll take it off probably a little later. And then the water is skimmed. Coming out of the skimmer in the back, after it's skimmed, it comes out the into the UV sterilizer and then is dumped in front of the return pretty big mess going on here because I'm still working on this so I'll get everything squared away eventually um, what else can I say man I guess that's about it that's uh, eventually going to be my uh, pre-made salt tank that's my uh, roadie water reservoir right now that 
connects to the kitchen faucet and comes in from the kitchen. Yay. So, yeah, I think that's about it for, uh, I'll try to get some closer shots of some of the corals in here. They don't really look like this camera is doing them justice. But, uh, we'll see how it turns out, I guess. I just picked that el that larger elegance coral up yesterday. He wasn't doing too well in the local fish store. He's all bleached out, lost a lot of his uh, internal algae. See, eventually he'll look like the one right behind it where that shrimp was just on. So what do I got in here? I got two of those uh, cleaner shrimp, and hey, just because I got a conch and a starfish. Numerous, you know, cleaner pack snails and hermit crabs, like so. Let's see here. Ah, oh, there's the starfish. Little reef. See, I'll get about five inches at what point. I'm not sure if I'll keep them in here or donate them. Alright, that's it for this one.